Hey guys, Mr. B here again, and um, last video I did for this uh, course was on arithmetic sequences, so this one take you to the next level up, which would be quadratic sequences. All right, guys, so uh, for an arithmetic sequence, we found that the first level difference was a constant. Well, for a quadratic sequence, what we'll find is that the second level difference is constant. So let's go through this example and show you. So um, let's see. We do this guy, 9 subtract 3, 6, 19 subtract 9, 10, 33 subtract 19, 14, 51 subtract 33, that's going to be 18, and then we'll do the math. So this is my D1, so this, if we were thinking about, we didn't know what this was, we know it's quadratic, but if we didn't know, we think, is this arithmetic? No, D1 is not constant. So let's look at this next guy. So... 10 subtract 6, 4, and 14 subtract 10, 4, thing of beauty, 18 subtract 14, uh, 4. So this is my D2 right here, and my D2 is 4. It's constant. So that is um, a quadratic sequence. The second level difference is constant. All righty. Um, this is what the general term of a quadratic looks like, quadratic sequence. T of n is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c, where a, b, and c are um, coefficients. Now, if you remember back to 2204, 2205, we did some work with matrices and finding this uh, quadratic uh, quadratic term, the general term for quadratic, using matrices. If you're in 3204, you're not going to be required to do this, find this guy. But if you're in 3205, check out my other video on creating a quadratic function from a sequence of terms, or a quadratic sequence from a sequence, or whatever you want to call it. And then um, that'll keep you updated on the rest, on everything we need to know. Okay? All right, so let's have a look at a couple problems that you might face. So this is an example of a quadratic sequence. T of n is equal to 4n squared plus 2n plus 1. Now, if I wanted to find it with... What, what is D2 for this guy? Okay. Um, if I want to find out what D2 is, well, um, there's actually a really easy form. Now, you're thinking, you might be thinking, well, I could put N equals 1, find what the term is. N equals 2, find what the term is. Now, that's a long process. Not recommended. So what I would recommend doing is this guy. And I see a mistake here, I think. So actually, that's not entirely correct. And I'm going to edit that. How can I edit Anyway, I'll write on top of it. Actually, D2 is equal to 2A. So I must have made a mistake when I did this up initially. D2 is equal to 2A. So if I wanted to find what A, what my D2 was for any quadratic sequence when I'm given the general term, well, if D2 is equal to 2A, I know A is this guy. A is 4, 2 times 4. So my D2 is 8. That's a lot easier problem than working out the sequence of this guy then doing the difference. Okay, that's way too easy. All right, let's see another question. It says, determine the value of the leading coefficient for the following sequence. Well, we just did this guy, and we found, well, I'll just rewrite this quick, 6, 10, 14, 18, 4, 4. So we found that B2 was... So if you're looking for the leading coefficient, or also known as a, we know d2 is equal to 2a. So d2, well d2 is 4. So now i got to solve for a. So the only possible value there would be 2. Now I'll divide both sides by 2, but anyway. So that cancels, I'm left with a is equal to 2. So that's my leading coefficient. So we would know that t of n is equal to 2 n squared, and if you were in 3205, you would be expected to be able to find b and c, but if you're in 3204, you're not expected to be able to do that problem. Okay, so even though you already can because you did it in 2204, 2205 using matrices, but anyway. Um, so keep that in mind, guys. A very important formula that d2 is equal to 2a, and the fact that the second level difference of a quadratic is constant. So now we know the difference between a quadratic sequence and an arithmetic sequence. All right, guys, good luck with your studying.